Once again, the world is held to ransom by this refugee from Madame Tussauds, this absurd Jim Jones look-alike. Of course, Jones only killed a few hundred people. Kim Il-yung is forcing a nation of 22 million to drink the Kool-Aid. There are still some things that make us all the same. You, me, them, everybody, everybody, everybody needs somebody. This is the problem in a nutshell that an absence of governance at the global level creates. There is general consensus that North Korea is ruled by a lunatic. But the UN can't simply issue an arrest warrant for this poorly dressed chump because it might set the precedent of some cheese-eating foreigner issuing an arrest warrant for this grinning chimp. In brief, because the leaders of our nation-states will not allow themselves or their actions to be subject to objective, independent and external scrutiny, either in the form of an elected chamber, at the global level, or a global judiciary, several million Koreans from both the North and South have moved that little bit closer to incineration. And if I was Chinese, I'd be a tiny, teeny bit worried too. <laughs> oh golly, is that the border of China? Right there? I'm sure the fallout will respect your sovereignty. Well, it should be quick. Other than the radiation sickness, the third degree burn victims, and the inevitable disease and pestilence that follow in the wake of killing large numbers of human beings. Still, if that's the price of maintaining our absolute sovereignty, the price to ensure malnourished brown people can't stop us northern hemispherian types from pushing them around, well it seems a small price to pay. Particularly given the payment is in yellow people, who are in any event basically brown. Democracy, voting, elected representatives, all that kind of thing has to stop at the arbitrary random borders of our nation states. 